Ah, got something new today. It's right here in this box. Something that needs to be done. Four. Well, down there. Maybe I'll, I'll say what's in this box by another hint. Something I've had for a while. But in that box, has been really hard to get. Excuse me about all the silicone. Uh, anyway. And it's in here. That I've had for a while. These were readily available. Yep, but holding it on there wasn't. Until just lately. This is the... And I'll tell you why I prefer this better. This is the skid plate. The engine guard or skid plate, I call it. I don't see I have it. All I did was just see it in this plastic. I hadn't even taken it out of the plastic yet. And I don't know. There's, yeah, there's the bolts and screws down there. So once I got it, I knew there was no way to put it on because I didn't have any way to, to attach it. Well, that's kind of, you know, that feels pretty, pretty yeah, it feels pretty, pretty good. I mean, it definitely feels stronger than, uh, than the, you know, it's not thin. It's definitely feels thicker and stronger than what's on the, uh, the, the Tuareg. And maybe even thicker and stronger than what's on the factory skid plate for the 890 Venture KTM. Whoop. Honda. So, yep, this is genuine Honda. Oh, man. You know, it feels pretty good. And, you know, it's, it's not really, it's not really that thin. It feels heavier. And definitely, I mean, it's not like heavy because it's, 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 it's I think they call it stainless steel or aluminum or aluminum maybe. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, bolts are the nuts or bolts and nuts. All right. The grommets, all oh, good. So there we have it. And I'm sure everybody's seen how to put these on. They're pretty easy, you know, where the grommets go. We got all kinds of holes here. Yeah, so. And the, uh, I haven't opened this. I just opened it, but I haven't looked inside it yet. Hope I don't get surprised they got the wrong stuff, but engine guard. I did look at this and uh, probably explains a few things how to put it on. And one of the, one of the many readings. Well, I wanted to keep it as much factory as possible and then that's a, the same color. So I figured, you know, might as well keep it aluminum brush, aluminum look. That's what that is. You can't get that black and I guess you can get this black. I don't know. But I like the stainless steel look. Yeah, sorry, I'm just having to, I got more bolts and screws, okay? See how it is? I haven't been in, I haven't been this far. This is as far as I went. So if you can tell the way it's formed. I just wanted to, uh, hopefully not surprised, you know, that I didn't get the wrong stuff. Yeah, I banged my arm up. I replaced it. Done some work on my truck the other day. <laughs> Put a lift pump on there, air dog fuel lift pump. But that's another story. Uh, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's made pretty good. Welded on nuts. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. They say it's stainless steel. It even says to be stainless steel in the package. 
That means it should not rust. That feels really good. Oh. I mean, this is some quality stuff. Uh, I know everybody's in their, into their uh, HEPCO and whatever, yeah, stuff. And they make good stuff, but. Oh, yeah, threaded hose. <laughs> In the next video, this is going to be on there. Well, they got more stuff. And there's videos of these going on there, being put on there. So I'm just doing an unboxing. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's stainless steel. I doubt it. You know. What's this? Oh, yeah. This is just like the box of parts I've got to send back since the uh, dealership here did not have the engine guard attachment kit. Yeah, they sent me uh, these. What is this? Okay. I think this is, uh, these are the parts that bolt onto the motor. I'm sure because, yeah. well, because I bought these, uh, I've got two sets of these, in other words. And, but the dealership had, did not have an ETA of when the engine guard was coming. So, yeah, there you are. So, I have an extra set of these if anybody wants to purchase them. In case you can't get those, the only on these. But the rest is, I want this and the rest of that is going to go on that machine right there. Okay, that's looking good. It looks like I'm going to have a lot of, uh, hmm. yeah. Don't really want to get rid of my instructions. See how the saying goes. All else fails, or read the instructions. I had an uncle who told me that. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't read some of his different language, but yeah, to download genuine accessory user guide and installation instructions, instructions visit the following URL. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's probably what I'll do, putting it together. And I've got, oh, there's the other. It is wrapped very good. I got these, this kit, this uh, Huntington Beach, California Honda. There's a guy in there named Philip. Sell you any part you want. Probably a motorcycle. I think you might have a few of these in stock. These, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Huntington Beach, California is where I got Huntington Beach Honda. And there's a guy named Philip. Hooked me up. He's the one that I got the top box and the mounting box uh, bracket for that top box. Pretty nice, huh? And I keyed it in, keyed the lock to the key that comes with the motorcycle, so it's all good. Huntington Beach Honda is where I got this. I definitely, definitely would recommend them if you're in that area. Or actually, if you can't get it wherever you're at in the U.S., you can get this from, let me see. Might be on this box here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, all right. Right there. Huntington B. Huntington Honda. Philip Smith. Man, that sounds. I went to school with a Philip Smith. Hmm. Uh, that would be amazing. Yeah, there's me, Clifton Rogers, of course. But that's where I got it, in Huntington Beach, California. Check them out. They've got a website. You can Google them. You'll find them. I found them on eBay, and uh, that's all I needed. 
I got that top box, uh, sent him information in my email and he sent me information in the email that I needed that pad right up there. So he sent me one, but I ended up going, but I ended up getting the pad in like, uh, uh, like the one that comes with it says Honda, like the one that comes with the, uh, that box for the trans out because it's, that is all that pad right there, that backrest pad that it's got on there. Some super light. And the one I've got from them a little bit heavier that works on it too. Uh, but he couldn't, he's got them in now though, those backrests, but he even told me what else fits it, which it did fit it, which I ended up taking it off and going back with the, uh, the other, I think that Honda is for that Honda backrest that's in that box over there. <sighs> they use that top box on other uh, bikes they ha on Honda has other motorcycles, so other adventure bikes. So I don't know what adventure bike, but I, I don't know. But anyway, and uh, but that's one I got right there from, uh, and I got that top box from Huntington Beach or Huntington Honda. Huntington Beach, California. And uh, this is the stuff I've got. This will all get a put on there. And hmm. so we've got the bolts. We've got everything here. Oh yeah, there it is. This come with this. I've got all this, you know, you can get all this from Huntington Beach. Huntington Honda. That's what it shows on there. And uh, that's great, that's great. See, I like this. And I hear that, when I looked at this, I got a feeling the way this is designed, it sets up underneath there. And I saw a picture of it. it. Looks like I can just reach through and unscrew the oil filter on that thing, which is good, you know, which is fine. And I don't know I was thinking, which might be a, I might end up doing, this is unboxing and uh, also uh, other possible upgrades to this to be able to change the oil. I may do a cutout, like a rectangular cutout to get a wrench up there to take that bolt off the bottom of the oil sump. And, uh, hmm. and so if you can just go in here and unscrew the oil filter and take a wrench, go that and the oil, well, I'm sure the oil is going to splatter out, but you can always set a little splash thing. And that's what I'm going to do when I change the oil. I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to see, they say that it comes off real easy to change the oil and filter, but I'm going to devise a way to make this oil change without having to take this off. I'm going to see if it's possible. It looks so simple to take on, uh, take off and put on that, you know, uh, doesn't that look good? That really looks good. I think it'll look good on that because you got the, you got some of the, you know, it, it's some of the stand out at the aluminum color, you know, the uh, Bark Busters, this right here, the, that comes there like uh, the, uh, hmm, the top box, uh, bracket and uh yeah and then right in here where it says trans out that front this color so i don't see anything why would i want it black i think you know between some of the silver like the forks shot the sh yeah right in here the bottom you know it's going to probably bring it out right you got a little bit of silver look here a little bit or brush aluminum look here and here that silver here and then right here at the top, the uh, you know aluminum hand guards by Bark Busters. That's right. I think the accents will be about right. And you know you got like the quick shifter. You know that's that's the same color. Same. You know I think it'll do good. I don't need to make it totally totally blacked out. I mean then you got a sprocket. You know that color, and you got foot peg that color. So it might. Might balance it out. It might not be a bad thing. So I was worried about it not being black or, or dark or something like that. So does it have to be? No, it's fine. So I'm going to put this on, and it looks pretty daggone easy to do. So that'll be coming up in the next video. I don't know. I might just supersede this video right in with it. 
And uh, so there we have it. I'll probably have a two part and then eventually just, uh, you know, just seam these two videos together. We can just click it on one time, which this is already, we've gone into 15 minutes. So I don't know if somebody want to watch this go on for a half an hour when there's several, several uh, channels that are showing these being put on actually it shows mostly the other aftermarket, but we're going OE. We're going OE. Only thing I haven't got OE, but is specifically designed for the trans out though is the bark busters. Everything else is OE. Let's keep it that way. That's what I feel. But oh well, you know, I I had to uh change the uh shock, rear shock, because I was getting hammered in the back. It, it couldn't hold me out. I'm 270 uh, pounds. Actually, I've gained, I've, I lost a little, so I'm gone down a little bit. I was 275, so I'm about to fight at 270. And uh, yeah, that's nice too. Got this right here, attractive. So uh, I know someone, someone asked me to start this up and, uh, they wanted a sound, the sound test of the, uh, the Akabrovich upper. So we'll have the we'll have the uh, skid plate uh, and the uh, attachment uh, engine guard on there on the next video, or I may just put that right on there. So there we have it. Stay tuned for the next Transalp Transalp XL750.